Hello and welcome to part 6 of my unit incremental game tutorial series. In this video I'm just going to show you a second way on how to make the buttons display if you can afford them or not. Uh, it's uh, going to be a loading bar on the button that will fill up completely uh, when we can afford them. This is a slightly harder way to do it than our first way, uh, which was just changing the color of the button. Uh, and in some cases, uh, that's the best way as well, but I'm gonna show you how to do this anyway, but because it could be used on special upgrades or something if you want. Uh, but of course, you can use this for all buttons as well. Uh, so for the first, uh, or the first thing we're gonna do is create a slider uh, on our first button. So just right-click it and create a slider, and as you can see. A slider, this is basically just something that you can change the value of uh, if you had like a volume control or something, but it's great to use for what we're gonna do. Uh, but the first thing we need to do is uncheck the interactable button so that we won't be able to uh, use it. Uh, then we're gonna make it bigger. So first thing I'm gonna set the anchor to a uh, to stretch and this will make it stretch inside of our button. Uh, so I'm gonna put the left and right values to zero and to make it stretch all the way from top to bottom I'm gonna have to make this minus 50 and also this one minus 50. And the handle we don't need so let's uh, deactivate the handle slide area and the fill area should be set to 0 and 0 no. Uh, 5 pixels to the left and right. Uh, then on, in, on the slider itself we're gonna set the max value to 100 and then um, it's just gonna do our shell like this but we can see it still has a bit of an area to the left so we need to fix that somehow. Set the width to zero on the fill under the fill area, so that fixes it. Well, not really. Um, oh, we need to set the fill area to be zero padding as well. So there we go. And now inside our upgrade manager, we can just set this to zero. Uh, we're gonna comment out our old code, and commenting is a way of uh, deactivating code uh, so that it's not played but you're, you'll still have it in your script in case you need it later. So if you want to comment a single line you just do uh, double forward slash and if you want to comment several lines we're gonna comment these lines just do forward slash star and at the end where you want to stop commenting then do star forward slash. So we're gonna remove that for now. And now we need a private variable for our slider. So let's go private slider. And I'll call it underscore slider. Uh, in our start function, we need to find the component of the slider to uh, manipulate the value right here. And since this slider is a child object of our button, uh, we need to go underline slider equals get component in children and then find the slider parentheses semicolon and then inside our update function we need to set the sliders value to be equal to our click gold divided by cost times 100 uh, and this is gonna just like mathematically it makes sense I don't know how to explain it otherwise uh, but uh, this should work so let's just try it so yeah it works and when I get 10 gold it's filled completely but obviously we don't want these colors so let's go into slider and let's make the background completely transparent then get the fill area up and then set the fill area, fill, I'm gonna use the 
old preset, I made one which is a slightly bit more transparent. So it'll look like this. And now I just need to copy the slider onto all of our buttons. So I'm going to select it, go control C, then go control V, and put it inside each button. So let's just see that that works. No, it doesn't work. The positioning is way off, so we need to reposition these as well. Setting by setting the stretch, then going minus 50, minus 50, and then the same on these two. So now it should work. There we go. And uh, to make it a bit more like this color, we can change so that it, when it reaches 100%. It gets even brighter. So let's just reuse our old code. I'll copy all of this and put it here. But instead if of checking if the click gold is equal or higher to the cost, let's check if the slider value is higher or equal to 100. And then we'll keep this the way we have it. So let's just try that. So yeah, that seems to be working, and it fills quite smoothly. And I just think that looks nice. So uh, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, it's a short one. It's just sort of an add-on to the last tutorial. But in some cases, uh, this way looks a lot better. So if you have any more requests, just comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. And see you later. Bye-bye.